What's going on everybody? Witness2k back on NBA 2K19, my team. In this video, we have another triple threat prize pack pack opening. Haven't done one of these in a long time and I've really missed doing them. We've got some diamond packs, some coach packs, some heat check packs, throwback packs, moments packs, and talking about moments packs. Bro, if we were some, somehow able to pull out of one of those moments singles, the new pink diamond, Paul George, that would be clutch as hell. This PG looks super nice. He's got a dynamic duo with the new diamond rust that came out as well. But this is a 96 pink diamond PG, 99 defense, 95 steel. Now, he looks really nice standing, uh, driving and standing layups during the 97s. You know, there's three point shootings all in the 95s, which is great. But that mid range is kind of trash, like not even 80s which is crazy. The Westbrook has a better mid-range than him, which is surprising. But I mean, it is a PG. I probably wouldn't even shoot the mid-range much with this card anyway. But I mean, like the three-point shooting's good. The driving inside's good. The dunking stats are still insane. A little bit of passing. He's got only a 79 steal. He has a 95 shot contest though. Bit in the rebound neck. This is based off his triple double and he's quick. He doesn't have Hall of Fame limitless range. PG has limitless range. Seriously, he's been knocking them from deep. I mean, he does have the gold one, but my opinion, he just deserves the Hall of Fame one. So there's that car right there, and there is, of course, the new Russell Westbrook, like I said, that you would have seen him in the triple triple threat boards. Now, this car doesn't sell for much. You know, I mean, it's even a lower overall than the other one, which is kind of random, but obviously this one has the dynamic duo with PG and it bumps me up to a 96 overall pink diamond, which is a huge jump, three overalls, but he's 96 on defense, 93 on offense, not good at driving inside. His best thing is really the mid-range. The mid-range shooting at the 88s, which is pretty good. He's got some driving dunk right there. Obviously he's got passing. He's got a little bit of, does a little bit of everything this rust. And oh, the speeds. I didn't realize there was a 98 on the speeds. That's solid as hell. And he has no Hall of Fame badge, but he does have 15 gold. So he's pretty good. His price is going to drop really quick, in my opinion. But those are honestly the best moments. There still is, you know, this Diamond PG. Plus, there's this um, Diamond Kuzma. It's not even. It's not even. It's not even saying that the Westbrook is available in packs. Surely he would be. That, that can't be right. But these are out in packs. They're not in packs for very long. But we're going to go ahead and start opening up some of these packs. And we're going to rip these gold packs to start off with. We're going to have a bit of a discussion. I want to address the elephant in the room. And that is, guys, well, mid-range Jedi badge to start it off. Let's go. I hope we can get some good badges from these gold packs. But like I said, to address the elephant in the room, i got to thank you guys so much. We hit 13,000 subscribers. Bro, this, this road from... 10k to 20k it has honestly been so much fun like just the content that i've been able to make like i'm loving the promos i'm loving the content 2k is dropping even though they did blue ball the hell out of us by not dropping anything today um obviously we got the, the pg and the rust but was expecting promos but ronnie 2k said in his live stream that there is going to be a big batch a big pack a big pack he said so promos dropping on Thursday. Now that is Thursday for Americans and that'll be Friday for Australians. So, I don't know, could it be Kobe? Could it be, you know, Larry Bird? Who knows, could they have all, I think, I mean, because it's gonna be so close to the weekend, I think it's gonna be all-star content. I have no idea why Kobe was showing up in the token market. I honestly think that was just a massive mistake, but man, that is pretty exciting to watch out for that. Because I'm hoping they're gonna, there's, there's got to be a Vince Carter in that set. I think it's gonna be, that's gonna be our first, you know, good Vince Carter is going to be like a diamond one or something like that. But back to what I was saying, guys. 13,000 subscribers, man, that is absolutely crazy. If you have hit the sub button, if you're a subscriber right now, I appreciate you so much, and I thank you so much. And if you're not a subscriber, make sure you do hit that sub button. You want to be a part of this journey. Trust me on that. But again, guys, talking about Paul George, whoo, that man is having an incredible season. And the craziest thing about it, like, yeah, he's putting up these numbers, but you have to take into consideration the man snapped his leg, completely snapped it in half. 
And he is like, again, in my opinion, leading the MVP race at the moment. And he snapped his leg just a couple years ago, and he is absolutely killing it. Literally, down by 20 points from the Rockets, single-handedly, PG just absolutely shoots lights out, and they end up winning. Like, he's something else. I don't know what it is. I mean, obviously, you don't see PG dunking like he was dunking for the Pacers. I mean, he can still catch bodies, you know, easy, but I think because he's not into dunking as much as he was, he's just really focused on his shooting, and man, he is an incredible, incredible three-point shooter, and I'm loving it. It is a good time to be an OKC fan. But I gotta say as well, like, people give a lot, like, they put a lot of dirt on Russell Westbrook's name saying he's not hooping. Now, I'm not saying this because I'm a Russell Westbrook fan. I mean, I'll be the first to say he needs to stop shooting. He is shooting way too much. I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous how much Russ is shooting. He needs to stop. But he's definitely sacrificed a lot of shooting that he used to do. Obviously, with Paul George, you have to give him touches. But Russell Westbrook does so much more than offense. Like, the assists that he gets, the rebounds, his like, career high in steals. And it's just night in and night out, 100% energy. People just think because you know, you're not dropping 30 plus points and you're not raining threes that you're not good at NBA. You're not good at playing basketball anymore. Like, that's not how it works. Like Russ is doing so much. And he's like, we get a limitless range badge. Let's go. I want I wanted to get more than one. Hopefully we can get some more. We've got some more gold packs. But yeah, Russ, like he's one of a kind in, a, in the point guard position for real. Like he's the best. He's averaging the league in like steals and assists. And like he doesn't really need to score because he's got PG. All right, so we got all of the gold cards out of the way. We're going to move ahead to the heat checks now. Now, apparently, after all the moments that came out, obviously, people are pulling moments packs more often because there's a PG. If you do have heat check players, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend selling them just yet because apparently, they have lost a lot of value. I'm going to quick sell all that. I don't want any of that. Yeah, I would recommend hanging on to heat checks. If I pull any out of these heat checks, I am going to hang on to them because... Their value should go back up, but so many people are pulling moments and pulling heat checks, and we get a we get an active heat check player right there. I don't know what he's selling for, but again, he'll go to my auctions because I've completed um, all of the heat check collections. But his value could probably be higher when there's not good moments packs because you can pull moments players out of heat check packs. So people are going to be pulling a lot of heat check players and just putting them on the auction. There's going to be flooded amount of heat checks but if you are trying to get like tokens and stuff like you want to complete sets now's the time to do heat checks because they're going for cheap all right we've got two more heat check packs to go haven't put anything crazy if we could pull an amethyst heat check player that'd be nice bro we've only gotten one heat check player this is going to be handy though getting some contracts i was running low on contracts because we didn't get promos like if we had promos you know i'm i've got Contracts coming out the freaking wazoo, but because I get to open these now, it's going to get up my contracts up a little bit more. Now we had one more heat check, there it is, couldn't find it. Then we're probably going to move on to the coach packs. Can we get one more heat check? We only got one heat check out of about five heat check packs. All right, so that's all the heat checks. If we can get a Steve Kerr, bro, he sells for like 40 bands. That is a stupid amount. I wasn't sure if you could get diamond coaches, but I ha I've seen it happen. I've seen people pull diamond coaches from these packs. We get freaking a Dave. We get a Dave Finsdale. We don't want that. That ain't a Steve Kerr. I mean, I'd take even an Amethyst. If we can get the minimum an Aneth Amethyst. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. No, we do not want him. That actually is the best silver coach though. All right, here we go. Final coach pack. Can we clutch a Steve Kerr? Another gold. Man, those the odds in those packs are so bad. All right, we're gonna move on to throwbacks now. We've got Celtics Lakers. Um, I think these packs, all right, we got an Amethyst. Oh, Mike D'Antoni, all right, we'll take that. Heal myself for a bit. Um, I don't know if I have that Rondo. If I do, definitely gonna send him to the auctions. Wait till less are in the market. 
because hopefully his value goes back up because I love the fact that you can get tokens for completing sets because it just keeps the value of so many cards and there's so many cards that are rare now because they're not like constantly on the auction house and we get a Sapphire, man that is a long name but we got him, I don't even know if I have him I mean I am trying to complete the sets because obviously I want them tokens because I want to be ready for the next Galaxy Opal to drop but this is it right now, we have the moments and then we have 5 diamond packs if I get a Paul George bro I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do for real straight bronzes that is an extremely bad sign PG please be hiding in one of these packs please PG bro these are not good one, one video that I do want to do soon is a mini hoop pack opening video so we got the mini hoop in the background you can't see it but there's a mini hoop back there you know I'd set it up somewhere and we could if we pull like an amethyst or above we got to shoot for it I think that would be a pretty dope idea bro we get we didn't even get a moments we got a deep range that I bad which is isn't too bad but those moments had some pretty bad luck but now we're onto the diamond packs now we're gonna get some diamond shoes Hopefully not a diamond coach, a diamond contract. If we can get some three-point shoes, I'm going to make some serious bank because they sell for so much. Starting it off, don't be a contract. We get the CP3. That one does sell for, I think, over 20K. I hope I'm correct on that. So that's a pretty good shoe. I'm going to send all these to the auctions. I don't really want to keep any of them, to be honest. But obviously, we want those Nike three-point shoes. If we could get a Kobe mid, that's a three-point moving shoe, so it's going to sell. Anything to do with three-point shooting sells on the market. But if we can get a Kobe Kobe 80 mids, I think they're called. They're like a, that's like an $80,000 shoe, for real. We get a mid-range right there. That is an ugly shoe. But we got it. We'll see what it sells for. It might sell for a little bit. We got like two more. Come on, just one three-point shoe. Just one. I want to make 60k off one of these. Oh, I literally bought that shoe just the other day. And I think it sells for like 7k or like 5k. So I know for a fact that that's a pretty bad shoe. Come on, last one. Let's clutch this out. Let's clutch this out. Show me a three-point shoe. This is a Kobe AD mid. I'm going off. Yes! Let's freaking go. It's not the Kobe AD mid. But it is still, it is the PG2K17 with the three point open, which sells for like 60K. Obviously with all these packs being pulled, you know, there's probably gonna be a few of these on the auction. So it, it, its price may have dropped a little bit, but I mean, for real, I don't know, should I sell it? Or should I buy Pink Diamond PG and put that shoe on him? I don't even know right now. But if I get, if I get PG, I'm getting Russ as well. So I don't know what the Dynamic Duo does. But yo, that is a clutch pull right there to get a three-point shoe to finish that. But that is going to do it for the video, guys. The prize pack pack opening. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We pulled a fair bit of stuff. You know, it wasn't too bad at all. We got a limitless range badge. That was the, that was a dub. We got that PG shoe. We got some throwback players. One heat check player. But yo, it wasn't too bad. I mean, you just don't seem to see 20th anniversary packs or this day in history packs on triple threat boards anymore. I don't know why. I hope they bring them back. Or maybe they're just super rare. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching this video. Shout out of the video goes to Patrick Cor Cornery? Cornery? I don't know how to pronounce your last name. Sorry, bro. But shout out to you, Patrick. Thanks for commenting. I appreciate it. But again, guys, leave a like and subscribe. It's been witnessed.